Hi there, I'm Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. Today, I um, thought I would try to do something a little bit different with you guys. Um, I am going to be spinning up some art yarn. Um, something I had made up about a month ago. Um, it's a little bit different. Um, so this is going to be a another type of thick and thin. Um, just a slightly a little bit more complicated for those that want to learn different, a little bit more trickier than the normal. Um, so I have some, I'm going to pan you down so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I am going to weigh up about a hundred grams of the hyperallergenic, um, fiber I'm going to be using in this one and I will be trying to make maybe two, probably an opposite one to the other one. So it's going to be a bit interesting when it's finished they're in some really pretty um chocolate red um colors uh made roll eggs um so these have a mix of 18 micron merino um angelina Sari silk, uh, not leftover merino, bamboo, um, and maybe a bit of silk in it. So that's going to be the base structure of the of the yarn, and then I'm going to add in some of the hyperallergenic fiber, only because it's just so soft I think it might make some really nice fluffy uh, clouds so that's the plan um, so I'm going to pan you down for a minute and then I will put you onto the spinning side of it hope you enjoy this one it's so silky it gets everywhere i've got it up my nose in my eyes possibly in my coffee more than likely More than likely in my coffee. So it's matching but different. You want the end that pulls from the center. But before we do any of that, we need to prep this fiber. So it's all good to go. About that size. Them into this thickness. Mm. 
and repeat until you've done them all. Okay, that's all of them. I'm going to just put them aside. And grab my roll leg. Clean my legs first. So we don't get tangles. And he's, every spinner needs a good fiber brush. Just draft it out a little bit. I tie mine onto my lead. You can easily untie it or cut it off later, if you please. This yarn is going to be um, textured, like the last one I did with the sari silk. So there's a lot of lumps in this. It's going to have really long um, thin bits. I'm going to add in a thick bit now to so pull this off. You can use normal roving um, for these if you please. Now with this bit you just join it to the other fibre. Pull and this is going to be your thick bit. You pull it off. And you rejoin your rollag or your roving. So you're going to have white or other coloured um, thick bits. And you use your textured, leave your textured and colour copy uh, fibre in the actual yarn itself. Again, you can do short or as long a thin bits as you wish. 
Um, up to you. Up to your projects. Up to you. If you like them short or thin, uh, short or longer. Personally, I'm not a fan of spinning Rolags. Um, I very much prefer my mini bats. It's a nicer finish, in my opinion. Um, it's unpredictable with Rolags on getting really thick um, bodily sections and an even even yarn you know, I get chunks of colour Good afternoon, this is part two um, for plying the yarn that I was making yesterday from the Rolex. Um, I've decided to go with a matching um, maroon coloured uh, Japanese silk. I don't need to add any silk. Um, to any sparkle to this because the actual single itself has plenty um, this turned out quite beautiful um, so let's get started I'm just going to ply it as a normal no um, beehives in this one because we want maximum uh, meterage, yardage. This is a yarn perfect for knitters um, and for weavers that need the extra meters. This one is a spiral spun yarn because I'm using a much thinner thread, um, not a 
another single to apply with. It will have loads of texture, a few bubbles here and there, but that is purposely made like this. I'm quite tired after today. Today is Easter. Um, we just got back from having brunch with the in-laws and a painting competition. Um, so I'm a bit tired now. If I don't talk much, I'm going to put a lot of music on for you. This one has long thin bits. Very, 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 very long thin bits. I must have fallen asleep on this last bit. Got to add in a couple of those nice white fluffy clouds. Oh, here we go. Here's a white fluffy cloud on its way. Right here. Finally.
Okay. I'm going to um, stop it there and when I finish this yarn I will scan it up and take another picture for you um, and then in a day or two when it stops raining I'm going to set the twist and I will do a podcast um, probably at the end of next week with um, to show you the uh, the yarn that I've made this week and just have a little chat um, coffee and chat maybe a spin if you're interested um, let me know I'm still new to podcasts and stuff not sure if I should do it um, live or how I normally do it so I can edit it um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Um, please uh, give this video a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. And subscribe to me if you haven't. Um, I should have two, probably two, two or three videos up by next week. Yeah. Alright, bye for now. Bye.